Once upon a time, this was like totally a mean thing that you could never say aloud just inside of certain spaces. But I feel like we're long past that point, and I feel also we've had enough of these conversations. I have seen some tortured definitions of anarchy that move towards something that you're like, okay, that could be less inherently pernicious, right? It could be more in line with like we're tolerable with like anarchy things. And of course, the creation of like a free society and the movement towards a free world is inherently going to be like all kinds of messy, right? Like people are going to have structures and associations and modes of relating towards one another that we don't like. We can't go in and be like, you need to be free in this like absolutely complexifying kind of way. So we're going to impose it upon you via like new life. Obviously, that's not going to work, right? Like. If you want to go off and like live in their fucking, you know, trad life communes or whatever, fucking, we have to let them, right? We also have to make sure that their children have access to the outside world, and means of escape, and etc. There's, you know, some level of contact. But, you know, there are trade offs and there are tensions around that. Obviously, you can't storm in with guns and like shoot up people just because they have like a shitty cold. Right? Like, there's all sorts of like tensions and dynamics that have to play out. We are trapped in many ways in pragmatism of the real world. Mm -hmm. But that does not mean that like we should see panarchy as a goal in and of itself, or as having moral value for like its pluralism. Pluralism is meaningless in terms of moral value in and of itself, right? Like there are good things and there are bad things. It's like people who will stretch diversity to mean all sorts of different things and be like, well, you know, if you really supported diversity, you would also support the diversity of there being abusers hurting their partners. And it's like, no. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. in, the, in the same way that people can stretch decentralization and mm -hmm. warp the term or like take it off in weird directions where it's like there should be no such thing as truth or there can be weird misrepresentations of the original reason that we gravitate towards the notion of diversity or pluralism or whatever along those lines. And there are definitely pluralisms that are fucking noxious and terrible. And a lot of examples and ways that I see panarchy is that it tends to be just like a quick exit from grappling with the complexities of actually trying to change the world and increase freedom. And while the actual pathway in the actual world, you know, the, the better futures that are slightly likely that we could come in contact with are likely to be very mixed, complex, muddied sort of like realities, I think that the tendency of panarchy is to throw your hands up and just be like, whatever will be, will be, hmm. right? And ignore that we have like a moral imperative to grapple with those, to struggle, to change those. You know, like the Paracon situation where like, okay, so you're trying to set up my entire region into like blah, blah, blah structures and endless meetings or whatever. And I was like, well, I'll throw fucking Molotovs at your meeting, right? Like, you know, th there is a sense in which like our struggle is never done and anarchy is a direction, not a location that we arrive at. And so that direction continues to be a necessary push within like a panarchist world. And I think that the term panarchy, the very concept of it, bundles in a kind of hands up disregard, kind of like whatever will be will be pluralism that ignores the moral imperatives and the incentives to continue to grapple with things and in a variety of different ways, in a variety of levels and in contexts and all sorts of different specificities that we can't speak broadly of. And, you know, of course, the more, the more pernicious direction of panarchy is just like, well, yeah, they have a new Nazi regime over there, but you can't say anything about that. And you definitely should like try to launch an insurrection or like, you know, depose them. And that's completely fucking not true. Like, you know, we're going to smuggle guns to our friends and the neo-Nazi regime. We're going to, like, depose them, not only just because they're a threat to the people that they're ruling over, but because apparently that sort of, like, structure is a threat to everyone on the planet. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we're going to punch Nazis. <laughs> like, that's going to that's gonna happen regardless of whether or not that fits within some framework of, like, a pluralism. I'm not going to tolerate somebody who's working actively towards a genocide, right? I'm not going to be like, oh, well, but it would be preemptive action to try to, like, you know, stop them from recruiting an army to go implement their genocide. Like, I'm going to fucking do what is necessary. And there are more complexities around that, but I think panarchy just, like, ignores them. Mm -hmm.